Good morning, friends of St. Paul's. Today is Tuesday in Holy Week, and again, today we will be exploring one of the appointed texts for this day, which you can find on page 30 at the front of your hymnal if you have a hymnal at home like I do. This morning we're going to hear from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 49, verses 1 through 7. Listen to me, O coast lands. Pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, God named me. The Lord made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of God's hand I was hidden. God made me a polished arrow. In God's quiver I was hidden away. And God said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the Lord, and my reward with my God. And now the Lord says, Who formed me in the womb to be God's servant, to bring Jacob back to God, and that Israel might be gathered to God. For I am honored in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. The Lord says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and the Holy One, to one deeply despised, abhorred by the nations, the slave of rulers. Kings shall see and stand up, princes, and they shall prostrate themselves because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. This is the word of the Lord according to Isaiah. Today I have been thinking about the past three weeks. We have been in our home for three weeks and three days today, doing our part to love our neighbors by staying inside. And in the text, I noticed a feeling of futility with the human God is addressing. God has called this person as a light to the nations, and it seems that this person is not comfortable with that identity. Instead, they recognize themselves as of little to no worth. I wonder sometimes if our efforts may feel that they are in vain as we watch the casualties grow as we watch the news and feel concern or sorrow, anger, or confusion. I wonder if you, like I, ever feel that perhaps staying in your house isn't really doing that much, if you are not, in fact, a light to the nations, if you cannot work at the polling place or serve your neighbor at the food bank. But today, God reminds us through this story That God has created each of us with intention, that we were formed in our mother's womb by our creator, and that God is with us throughout all these pathways of life. And that to be that light to the nations that Isaiah talks about, to let our light shine so that others may see our good works and glorify God as our baptismal liturgy reminds us, is not always a flashy, shiny thing. Sometimes to be a disciple means to stay in your house or to do something that seems small, that maybe no one notices, that doesn't feel much like a lampstand, but maybe more like a flickering candle in a dark room. Today I encourage you, you are beloved by God, and you have been made to refract God's light and love out into the world. Every person has been made with this intention. And so today, even though it may feel like all the other days before, I hope that God might reveal to you some new ways that you can share that light and love of God in a way that is specific to who you are as someone created on purpose by God, formed in your mother's womb. Our prayer of the day is the following. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have called us to follow you. Grant that our love may not grow cold in your service and that we may not fail or deny you in time of trial. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May God be with you this day, my friends, and every day. See you tomorrow.